I live in Boston and I've got grandkids in Seattle. And it, and almost every day, my grandkids are sending, or my kids are sending video and photographs from their phone in real time. I get a phone call now, and it's my son on the beach doing what we're doing right now. In yeah, Scott. yeah. So, and he's Skyping me from his video phone. The, the corporate manager is way behind that kind of usage. Yeah, you're still <laughs> using email. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. And 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 um, text messaging is replacing email. And and you know, it, you're at, you're you're absolutely right in that regard. Those are examples of what I'm talking about. The flip occurring, and and um, to me, the the, um, the mnemonic that I use is corporations and consumers because they're both words with C. Yep. So I can remember it easily. <laughs> it used to be a flow from the corporation to the consumer. You know, we've got these great products for you and you adapt them. You know, you embrace them, you buy them. Now it's, forget that, man. <laughs> they're ahead of me. I got to listen to them they're, and and find out how they're using them, how they're creating ways to use them and ask what does that have to do with how I run my corporation internally and what does that have to do with how I relate to my customer. Um, as long ago as Future Perfect in 87 and mass, the chapter on mass customizing, there is a, uh, there has been a steady flow for 87, 97, and also a quarter century now. Uh, there's been a steady flow of movement to where the customer does the configuring more and more. And the more that software is intrinsic to the value proposition of an offering, the more that's going to be so. Because the software enables the customer to do the configuring. Yeah. Not the and that is in revolutionary, subver revolutionarily subversive of the corporation doing the configuring. That to me is the major shift. I don't know. I, now, I don't know if this, you know. No, no. I, I think that's right on target. And a, a number of things we're, that have come up reinforce my belief that some of the things that are done in agile software development need to be adopted more broadly in corporations because you've got rapid iterations, like daily. And the question is, well, what does a consumer think of it? So in ra rather than, you know, long product development cycle in here, do you take it or not? No, you're, you know, it's co-creation on a daily basis. And I mean, it, it's, it's, it's an entirely new way of doing things. God, you know, it must, it must feel amazing to have termed mass customization and see it <laughs> become like. <sighs> yeah, it, it has been. Um. It's been superseded, though. I, I think that that was one life cycle. Mass customizing. Um, there's a new, a new generation that pertains to, and uh, you know, there's mass customizing of product and there's mass customizing of services. Yeah. There's a new generation of mass customizing product. Uh, it goes by um, a few terms. Uh, it's already it's it's still I think in the first quarter, but it's oh, getting awfully close to the second quarter of its life cycle. Uh, one one phrase that's used is additive manufacturing. Another phrase that's used is three D printing. Mm. And um, what what it, what you have is the is desktop manufacturing yeah um, 
I've never heard that term, but that, that's a term that, that works. Um, the, uh, by the time, you know, the notion of desktop manufacturing is such that um, the consumer owns it, you know. <laughs> but he, but here's, here's the notion that um, with a copy machine, you lay down ink on paper. With uh, 3D printing, you lay down different uh, substrates of different materials that will bond, uh, like they bond, like the ink bonds with paper, and will build a product, like a like a wrench or or, or an air a part to an airplane uh, engine. That's already online in manufacturing and airplane engines. I saw the other day um, a TED talk in which um, they had laying down those substrates of live tissue mm. to build not just ve um, veins and arteries, but to build a heart. Oh, my Lord. You know, and you see, you're watching it. You, you're seeing it. It's it's unbelievable. Now that's still in the laboratory. That's not in the operating room. <coughs> but it's all of that sort of stuff that is the next iteration of mass customizing. Uh, it's um, mass customizing started with mass customizing product. Uh, you know, the early examples of, of uh, well, let's take it all the way back. Instead of automobiles all being black, you can have them in different colors. Mm -hmm. You can get all different configurations for an automobile so that uh, the ultimate logic is uh, market segments of one. Uh, mass produced, mass distributed, mass marketed, but, but one of a kind by the time it reaches the end user. And then it migrated into services, but also, uh, and more naturally so, because, again, if there's software in the offering, it's going to lead to mass customizing. And so services get, can get mass customized even more easily. Oh, yeah. But, but now you've got these, you've got a worldwide conference on additive manufacturing, uh, you've got 3D um, printing in, in a whole variety of industries. So it, it's, um, it's another life cycle.